South Africa's Government of National Unity, the GNU, is actually facing a critical moment. World President Sir Maposa has raised concerns over the survival of the coalition, casting doubt on the viability of the partnerships within it. While the very foundation of the GNU appears to be at risk as the president warns of hostile forces within the alliance, entities he claims are working towards the disruption and destruction of their supposed partners. Well, the issue lies not only in the differing political ideologies, but in the aggressive posturing and open threats between the parties. Ramaphosa's recent comments, warning of political allies hell-bent on destruction, signals a deep-seated tension within the GNU that could soon boil over. While his remarks have sparked concern over whether the coalition, which was supposed to unify the country, might instead be tearing it apart from the inside. What are the consequences if South Africa's coalition government fails, and how did it get to this point? These are important questions that we're going to be tackling in this particular video. So please do all to stay glued and do watch the video till the very end. While well, South Africa's GNU was originally established as a way to foster cooperation among different political factions and ensure a stable government. The idea was that diverse parties, including the ANC and more radical movements like the EFF, could work together despite their differences. However, coalition politics has always been fraught or filled with challenges and managing competing interests requires diplomacy and mutual respect. While well, from the outset, tensions have existed between the parties within the GNU, particularly between the ANC and of course the EFF. The EFF, which is actually known for its confrontational rhetoric and radical policies, has often clashed with the more moderate approaches of the ANC. Although the GNU was created to foster unity, the reality of such divergent political interests has made collaboration very difficult. While as time passed, it became increasingly clear that the internal dynamics of the GNU were far from harmonious. Public statements from prominent figures within the GNU, such as EFF Deputy President Floyd Chivambo, often took on an adversarial tone, with accusations and threats flying across party lines. This has led to an atmosphere of mistrust within the coalition, culminating in the recent comments made by Ramaphosa. Ramaphosa's remarks signal his growing frustration within the current state of the GNU. While his emphasis on the lack of mutual respect and his reference to statements like we are going to finish you off points to a deeper problem. Some elements within the GNU may not be committed to its success. The principle of Ubuntu, which emphasizes respect and interconnectedness, is clearly not being honored by all members of the coalition. I mean, one of the most significant tensions between the ANC and the EFF is actually this particular point. While the EFF's confrontational style, often embodied by figures like Shivambu, has fueled public perception that the party is more interested in undermining the ANC than working alongside it. Although Ramaphosa did not mention any names directly, analysts believe his comments were aimed at the EFF which has long positioned itself as an antagonist force within South African politics. While this has led to speculation about the future of the GNU, Ramaphosa's statements suggest that the ANC may be reconsidering its alliances. The potential collapse of the GNU would have serious implications for South Africa's political landscape. Believe me, it could even lead to a period where things would become very instable and of course open the door for political upheaval as parties scramble to realign their positions. Furthermore, it raises the question of whether coalition politics is a viable long-term solution for South Africa's governance. Well, the question now is whether the GNU can survive these internal divisions or whether Ramaphosa's warnings are a prelude to its eventual unraveling. 
where the future of the coalition hangs in the balance and the outcome could have far-reaching consequences for the nation's national stability. Do you believe South Africa's government of national unity can survive or are its internal divisions too deep to fix? Again, what impact would the collapse of the GNU have on South Africa's political stability and future elections? Drop your thoughts just down in the comment section. Thank you.